G'day, I'm Kim, an Aussie artist and nature journaler who's exploring the six Noongar seasons of the southwest of Western Australia. I visit the bush and coast each season and record the signs of nature happening around me in my nature journal. Join me in this episode to learn about Bunaroo, the second summer. Bunaroo is the hot summer after the cooler Birak. Typically, this is the time to head to the coast, enjoy the cool sea breeze and plentiful fresh water food and seafood. It's also the time of adolescence for animals, while in the plant world, the white flowering gums are blooming and the female zamia palms produce their huge seeds that change colour from green to a ripe red. I'm back at Warangup Spring Reserve where I was for Barak. Now it's near the end of Bunaroo. I feel like it's not been quite as hot a summer as last year where there were heatwave records broken, but it's noticeably warmer than Birak. The flies aren't too bad either. And there's certainly a lot of bird life right now. I'm wondering if the osprey chicks left the nest yet. Beautiful sunny day, blue skies. Not many clouds. So I think I've just been told, and I probably should have made the connection sooner, but the reason why the swans are all here is because there's the spring, the Warrangup spring. So they come there to drink fresh water. So here's the spring where the swans are drinking from. I can hear the kingfisher. Oh, but wait, that's a whistler. It's a whistler in there. The golden whistler. And I can see a male and a female fairy wren. Um, females on the road in the shadow. Actually, there's quite a few of them. Males have crossed the road. He's sitting. He's flown up now. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the kingfisher's in there. Can't really see it, but it's hitting the branch with its beak, making a noise. It's got something in its mouth. Definitely a kingfisher. There it goes.
So that's the Osprey up there. And I think I'm going to go nature journal it. So I've set up my chair there and uh, hopefully it'll stay. So the osprey is still here, and I think I saw one in the distance. Alright, so the first osprey flew off, the second one is still there. Hard to see because it moved behind the, um, the leaves. There it is. It flew off as I grabbed the camera, of course. Alright new spot so this is what I've done so far so I've just um did some blind contours of the osprey while I watched it on the perch the first one and then from memory I tried to um, do the other birds I've seen here which include a sacred kingfisher eating something in its beak um, and some fairy wrens which I just can't get the body shape quite right um, and then what I thought was two kingfishers but they were actually ravens eventually i heard them and they flew off and then the second osprey arriving all right so i'm filming this a little bit late in the season but during my walks i noticed the mary tree was blossoming so you can see here that they've uh they're in, at the end and uh, the honky nuts that I drew for um, Inktober but uh, there's still a couple there's some with some bees in them and uh, other insects so I want to quickly add this to my journal got a magpie keeping me company here in the park So I picked just one of these and I will now nature journal it. I'm always sad when summer ends because it's my favourite season. I'm looking forward to the return of Bunuru next year, when I can once again bask like a lizard under the hot sun, fend away the flies and dip in the ocean to cool off. I'm interested to read your comments describing your favourite time of the year, but can you do it without naming the season? 
I'll leave you with footage of some rays splashing in the mirror-like waters of the Leshenol Estuary at sunset one evening, a magical moment I was able to experience this summer. Until next season, bye.